Hello and welcome to the Visionless Designs YouTube channel, the channel where you get to see all the things I can't. So today's video, I forgot to do another product review on my Milwaukee Impact Driver. The Milwaukee M18 FID2 Cordless Impact Driver. I love this thing. It, it, it's, it, it's great. You, you should totally get one. They're awesome. So let's have a go over the features of this wonderful thing then. So obviously you've got the quick release bit here. Whoop. Pop him in, he's locked, and you can take him out. So if you need to swap through the bits really quick, nice and handy. You've then, obviously as we go down, forward and reverse, basic. You've got the lights. As we go down though, what makes this different to normal? Whoop, I'm gonna pop him back in. You've got a power button here. So this cycles through three different power states and one auto state. So if we just go over it, it's on mode one now. Two, three, auto. So reason for that, very simple. This thing has a lot of power in it. So having those different power options means that you can get the better control depending on whether you're doing little screws or big bolts. If you have it on high speed when doing little screws, they're going to disappear very quick. So very handy feature. I personally don't use the auto. I find it a little bit frustrating for me personally because I do everything by feel. Some may like it, some may not. Another thing again with these, it's a five amp battery. So it pretty much lasts all day. I have not really had to charge it during the day unless I forgot to previous days. So I figured the best way to demonstrate the power of this thing is to do a demonstration. So I've got here, whoop, my old Dewalt impact driver. It's 18 volts, uh, 118 newtons of force. Doesn't have variable power on this thing. So I'll be going all out. And it's going against see the Milwaukee, which is again, 18 volts and 216 newtons of force. So we'll see how they do when it comes to putting whoop, an M8 80 millimeter uh, bolt in and a 50 mil self-drilling wood screw. So let's go for it now. Okay, so we've seen how it compares to the other impact driver now. Evidently, this is twice as fast when doing big bolts. So throughout the day, that's a lot of time to be saved. So now we'll have a go over the different power levels and see how they handle these screws. So I'm going to start at one and go up to three. Here we go. Right. As you can see, very clear difference. So you can have a variety of speeds to adjust the control you want to have over the things you're screwing in, which is, yeah, if you're doing small things, really handy. So when it comes to the case, the one I got with the impact driver is this top one here. So as I mentioned in my drill review, this case only fits the impact driver, whereas the drill case fits the driver and a drill. The other annoying thing is on the drill, you've got these clips that you can undo on both sides. So you only need one hand to actually open it. Whereas the impact driver case here, there's two different clips here. I'm doing off sides, but it won't lift up unless you actually keep holding them both out. So just something to consider. And again, with it's probably standard on most brands of tools that have a stacking mechanism now. You've got the side latches, lift up, clip both cases together. There you go. Handy if you're moving a lot of things about. Do tend to prefer if you've got a handle on the top, which these don't have. So it's more for if you're stacking these in uh, a vehicle or something. On to the downsides of this wonderful thing then. A thing I noted in other reviews is the bits falling out. So I've had this a few times. So sometimes you'll put the bit in. I don't know, it's locking, but sometimes it'll just start falling out. 
what I found is I'll just take it out, put it in, spin it, and then it'll lock in place. The other thing that can also happen, mainly when using the M8 bits, is it will jam in and it'll seem like no matter what you do, the bit doesn't come out. If it does that, I tend to, again, just spin it and it tends to do a like click and then it'll pop out nice and easy. Same with the uh, drill as well. The power will sometimes suddenly just cut out. This seems to be the battery just not sitting in properly and the only way to resolve it is literally to clip it out, clip it back in, and it works again, perfectly fine. So that's ma the main problems. Oh, and yes, this, uh, this belt clip, not belt clip, the clip for the bit, bit holder here. Uh, obviously I've lost the clip on here, but I didn't really use it anyway, because same as the drill, it seems a bit loose for the bits and they just fall off. So it's, it's just not worth using it. Oh, also forgot to mention, it, it, it's got a, uh, a belt clip which is handy um, as long as you have tight trousers because if they're loose this uh, due to the weight of this thing it will pull your trousers down just just be aware of that but in any other case yeah I, I wish I'd had this years ago they started off quite pricey but they're a lot more reasonable in price now so it's definitely worth picking something like this up even with small screws because you've got the variable speed it's definitely worth getting for a long-term tool so yeah hope you found this helpful Ironically, after demonstrating the side clips, which I don't personally use because I don't really take my tools out and about, I actually broke the clip here. So yeah, I thought they were a bit tight and yeah, obviously too tight because it's now broken. So just something to consider. Um, yeah, I, I think Festo will have this one a bit better. Right, so thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, don't forget to check out the website visionlessdesigns.com where you'll find all my products to help support the channel as well as links to all my social media and Etsy store. Links are also in the description below and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much, see you in future videos.